two o'clock in the morning. After six weeks at sea, Captain Karl Heinz Ribbein is tired as he steers his trawler into Cuxhaven. The crew has been fishing for Pollack off the Norwegian coast. That's not so easy nowadays. Countless regulations make life hard for the fishermen. New ones are introduced all the time. I think there are 5,000. You can't keep up with them. You need a secretary. He hasn't got a secretary, but he does have the paperwork. There's a file for every different fishing ground. This is the Norwegian one. That's how it has to be. Norwegian zone, present day, present time, date. Present date, present time, date. What happens if you aren't accurate? One warning and you have to pay money. Quite a bit too. Three warnings and you're in court. They arrest you. The past weeks weren't very successful. The hold of the ship is only half full of fish. But on the positive side, the crew also caught some monkfish which sells for a good price. That's the best food fish. It's very expensive. It's always weighed with the head, which is the heaviest part. And it fetches 45 euros a kilo in Berlin. This fish weighs four and a half to five kilos. They want to know everything. Once I forgot. The helmsman took the ship out of harbor. I was so tired, I was asleep in my bunk. Two years later, I got a notice of a fine of 5,000 crowns. Two years later. 5,000 crowns just because I was tired and asleep. Man, man, man. It's four o'clock in the morning. The trawler ties up at the fish docks. The six-man crew deserves a break, but there's still work to do. The trawler has to be unloaded. It's cold down in the hold, but the work keeps the men warm. The company can get a good price for the Pollack. This load of fish will get the Marine Stewardship Council seal for sustainable fisheries. All eight ships in this small fishing fleet have wide mesh nets. That prevents the unwanted bycatch of smaller fish. That's one step towards preserving stocks. Now it's eight in the morning. The fish is processed in the factory and moved on for sale. Large chains like McDonald's, Germany's top fish marketers, Deutsche See, and some restaurants and hotels only buy fish with the MSC seal. Few people want frozen fish. So even if the catch wasn't that big, the fresh fish still sells for good money, thanks to the seal. Now the trawler crew can look forward to four weeks off before they head for the fishing grounds again. And that's all we have time for in this edition of Made in Germany. Thanks for watching and we'll be back again next week.